Like, if that option wasn't there, he would have to take three hours in transit. <laughs> we have Captain Land. I don't think that's his tag. It's definitely just Land. Yeah. But we have, so we do have, we have Land and Captain L sitting down. Um, Land adapters? Yeah, for yeah. The Wii U? That won't be on the Switch? <laughs> Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo Wii U? Wait, it's not, you don't say Nintendo when you do that one, do you? Anyways, going into game one on uh, Smashville. No surprise there. I think you should say Wii U 3, yes. Ooh, 31% and Captain L just doing like... Pikachu combos are always, I don't know, they're so disheartening because like they're, they still look so solid. I mean, they only again, you only got 31% out of that, but it's like there's a lot more moral damage that's done there too. That's why I think people hate Bayo's combos. Her hits do not do that much. It's just the and collectively they do a fair bit. So people are like, oh, our moves do so much, but then you trade with them, and it's like, why did that do nothing? Yeah. Oh, he goes for the beat poop early. Um, I think it was just like a guaranteed combo that he thought would work. But. I really like that short hop over the thunder. Uh, like thunder's actually a hard projectile to deal with based on like its kind of weird bouncy properties. Oh, Captain L, you're so cool with your with your veto so, perfect so pivots. Cool. Oh, you're. Ooh, no DI on no DI from land, and uh, Captain L made the right guess. Goyles just want to like have him for his B2 skills <laughs> alone. Oh, oh, it's so. It's, oh. Oh, his movement is so slippery. Look at that. Oh, crisp movement. Mm, oh, I bet the stream's just loving this comment. <laughs> Anyways, uh, no high, that. high quality, rip. high class, high brow. Ooh, really comment. good. Uh, uh, Captain L's uh, uh, use of tilts is also really good. Like, yeah, it's a good thing to put out there to get him off. Ooh, well, perfect. Wow. Oh, he wanted tilts. the down. Uh, he, he wanted the down air. He had the read. He had the read too. It was just like, he was just a bit, oh, F's, oh, you're so cool, Landon. You're so cool. Look yeah, at that. Oh, Landon, you said, you said, anyways. Um, yeah, but yeah, he, he's a cool if guy and he knows it. If you if you don't know Captain L's actual name, you're not a real fan. <laughs> everyone knows his actual name. And everyone said, accidentally said his name. That's fair. All right. You're so cool, Captain L. Oh my god, all these up air strings. Is Lion gonna be able to fight his way back? I think he needs the one grab for the beat boop, but like... He, he, it is beat boop range right now. He just needs it, but... Ooh, that was just barely on the... Uh, just barely getting over that thunder. If Captain Love can't get grabbed by DK, he ain't gonna get grabbed by Rob. Rob has a really bad grab range. I don't know, man. There's a very meme-filled video of him getting grabbed by DK. I know, I, but he's... Been, but he's, like, he's learning. I got you, it. He's, have you seen like the struggle the DKs go through to get that grab, though? No. See, that's the thing. I don't watch. I don't watch those sets as much. I just see the the uh, the disappointment that happens afterwards. Yeah. Oh see, my like, God! A, a perfect pivot backwards forward smash. Like, again, it's, it's stuff that like. You know, with with Beto Tech, it's like this stuff becomes commonplace, but it still looks so good, and yeah. and the thought is always what's like really brilliant about it. And then melee power. So what's the big deal? It's just like wave dash back dash smash. It's like because it's in Smash Four. That's the big deal. Yeah. I I like. I, I always, uh, I mean, this might not be the best time to bring it up. Like, I always find that, like, people who say there's no tech in Smash 4, it's like, okay, what do you consider tech? Is, is not, like, how you well, move your character. Is that not tech? Me melee player is considered to be no tech in Brawl, and it probably has more tech than Melee. Dak is, man, I don't, I don't, much, don't know much about bra Brawl. I can't speak to that much, but... Brawl had weird, like, item tech. Well, we wanted the weird... drag down up Smash. It, it, had, it had really okay. weird throw techs, and also, like... Just really frame precise combos. That's what it had. Melee has combos, but like, and it does have frame precise combos, but like, I don't know. Wave dashing is like easy to do compared to Dacus. And like, an item throw stuff. It's like only Peach could do it, and Peach's slide property isn't that great. Mm. A really good shield on Captain L's part. Uh, Land, you know, you put another another 60% on him. That means that, like, you can go for some stuff. But at 166, ooh, this could be it. I think I think he's trying to bait him or, like, try to get him to DI an up throw wrong. Oh, that, oh my god. I thought that uh, back air was going to be the death of him. But uh, Landon actually doesn't punish. See, I want I want Pikachu's Nair to have more kill power. I just want I want Pikachu's Nair. Are, are you sure? Are, are you sure about that? Look at that! It killed it. It killed it like 200. That's way too strong. We got to nerf Pikachu. I just think Pikachu deserves like a, a, a something a moves of fear. He doesn't have any moves that are like, ooh, I shouldn't get hit by that. It might kill me. Like he doesn't have that. Like Ryu has like, like sure you can. Jigglypuff even has one. She has, she has rest and like back air. Yeah, she has rest. So a lot of characters. Have hey, like, look, hey. speaking of. I, 
All you know, he's using my, he's using my color, so you know we're gonna have to we're gonna have to settle that out later. But no, <laughs> <laughs> but like a lot of characters have scary grabs. Pikachu is neither. Same it's like Bale doesn't have too many scary moves. Like it's like oh I don't want to get hit by this, but at least her moves can lead into things that are scary. Mm -hmm. Like, but so, like, yeah. So this will be really interesting. So uh, evidently, I, I I don't know if Captain L. Like I mean I know he's been like working on the puff for a while. I don't know if it's because the uh, FD pick. Like that's often he's I often a, if if I do get ended up uh, going to FD, I will usually go puff. I don't know just because Cloud doesn't yeah. have anywhere to run. But, I. Just, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, no problem. I, I think Puff and FD is like... It's her best stage. Like, it's her... The, but FD and Duck Hunt are like her best oh, stages. And and Duck and FD is really good because it makes rollout safe at high percents. At higher percents, it makes rollout safe because if you get... It, the only time it, she's actually helpless is when you get hit by it. But if you get hit by it and you're at a high percent, it kills you. But if you shield it... She might break your shield, and it's safe because there's very little egg. It's it's relatively safe, like, and the, yeah, this is definitely a stage for it. But yeah, but on other stages, the platforms, you can just escape to the platform. You don't have to worry about it. Exactly. So it's like, and people are like, "Oh, you're stupid. Roll it's not safe." And it's like, go play it. Jigglypuff, and get to a high percent, and just have the Jigglypuff spam roll out. See how <laughs> see how well you can punish it. Uh, you really I can't. Uh, w uh th hey, I, I, I was playing a really meme-filled uh, Puff Ditto once, and I punished Rollout with Rest, so don't tell me you can't punish that. Okay, Rest is invincible. I know, I know. I don't count invincible moves out of shield. All right, so this game is actually being pr kept pretty close. I think a little bit of that, I mean, like, like Captain L's uh, uh, Puff is a little bit of a different monster, but out in the Fraser Valley, like, you know, I play Puff sometimes, and then there's uh, Pooh, who also plays. And uh, at one point... Uh, Oh, we had another player, Chris. I don't know if he still plays Puff much anymore, but in any regards, uh, Lan will have had some practice against it, so we'll know how, where the spacing is. It's just with Captain L's kind of superior thinking ability. Yeah. I mean, I, like, that's what separates a lot of the top players in this game is, like, how well can they outthink their opponent? It's it's hard. You know, it's really hard to not think, like, Lan is just BMing right now. Because it's Puff, but, like, no, he, like, legitimately has a Puff counter pick. Yeah, dude, it's, like... like it's legit, and this is a this is the matchup for it. I don't I don't mind the the matchup. Like you have to weave in and out of, of the projectiles, but like Puff is actually pretty good at weaving in and out. She just can't get to places quickly. You heard the argument that Lana made for Puffy. Perfect, than Nair. Kirby. See, Nair is a kill move. If anybody doesn't know that, it's great at all percent and eventually kills. You heard Lana's argument for Puff being better than Kirby, right? Um, no, I would love to hear it. I would tend to disagree. Like, I think Puff has a favorable matchup in versus Falcon. I think he has an even matchup, or she has an even matchup versus Ganon. And uh, there's geez, there's like, something else that might be okay, but I can't. Oh, Bayo. I, I think she might have a plus matchup on Bayo as well. I don't think it's plus, but it's definitely hard. It's tedious. Like, at, it could only be as bad as 6-4 for Bayo, and I don't think it's that. Um, I I don't think like I'm okay, but I don't think it's that bad. It's just really annoying. Ooh, Which, see, okay, see that uh, pound right there is super scary. At 25%, uh, Captain Elk uh, can potentially convert that pound into what? Okay, I don't know why he doesn't do a little bit of uh, weaving and try to go for a fair. I mean, I know he's just off the percent, but they were high enough that he could go pound, find the fair, go into rest. He was looking for a roll in there too. I think I saw it. I don't yeah. know if he would have punished with rest, but. I think he's looking for like an air dodge read because like Jigglypuff is one of those characters where like people are pretty air dodge happy about with her because they don't want to jump because their combos are just wide enough to where if you jump you'll lose it. Mm -hmm. This is a close match. Oh, really good. Uh, uh, Land made himself safe by coming down with those ja uh, and landing with jabs. Um, this match is obviously a lot closer. I mean, like the matchup. You know, Puff can only do so much. Uh, it's Land is doing all, all he can, and it's working out for the most part, but Alan's kind of finding, uh, see right here, this could be it. No, oh, just out jumps out. Yeah, see, that's that's the other thing. It, when you do play Puff, this, like you get to jump out of a lot more combos than you would as other characters, so it's usually one of your safest options. Because nobody can, like, they'll, they'll spend those double jumps double jump just getting to where you, like, were gonna be, and then you're already a couple jumps above that. Then you just gotta worry about landing. And speaking of landing, uh, yeah. Land is having a hard time getting back to this stage. Oh, and he just sneaks it out. How much? Oh yeah. my god, that was brilliant movement by Land. He was uh, running low on that gas. It, it's funny that you brought up landing, because I think that's one of the arguments. Nair gonna take it? Wow, Nair takes two games. Good job to Captain L. Um, was that winners? Yeah. It, it feels like it would be winners it with Captain L sitting there. But 
I, I don't know. I don't know Kevin Dunn's argument. 